Hello guys, my name is Henry and I'm going to put it on YouTube. I'm not going to tell I'm not going to tell it to Grandma Donna or or my dad because they're going to they're going to ignore me and that's going to make me angry. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly why I deleted this information. I uh, so at the beginning of my music session, I wanted cookie butter. I was asking Emmanuel, my music teacher, for cookie butter, and I asked Emmanuel for cookie butter. And after I asked Emmanuel for cookie butter, he said no, which really freaking sucks. He said no, he's not going to buy me cookie butter. And I feel very very upset that he said no, he wasn't going to buy me cookie butter. And instead of me just processing that information in my brain and taking in that information and computing that information, I got rid of it completely. I completely got rid of it. I deleted it. You know why I deleted that information? I deleted it because Emmanuel got flagged for that crap. Emmanuel got flagged for that crap. You know, on 2015, he was saying the brain is not a computer also. And then I got mad at him. But you know what I did? I flagged his answer. I flagged it. That way, I won't have to accept no ever again. And I deleted it. So we can all know that he got flagged and I flagged him. I didn't want nobody in my, I didn't want no, I don't want nobody in, in my mental computer whatsoever telling me, no, I'm not going to have this. No, I'm not going to have that because I will delete them. I will delete their videos. I will delete their songs. I will hack into their account. I will delete their videos. I will delete their songs. That's how I feel when I get mad. I feel like I want to hack into someone's account, delete their videos, and delete their songs. If, they don't, if he doesn't buy me cookie butter... I'm definitely going to delete this information because I'm tired of accepting no. Yes, I deleted it. And you know why I deleted it? Because it had to be, I had to go take it down before it freezes my mental computer and it causes my mental computer to get viruses. It has to be, t I had to go take that information down. I had to do it quick. And if I, I, and if I didn't take it down quick enough, it was going to freeze my mental computer and cause my mental computer to be infected with a virus. And you know what happens when my mental computer could be infected with a virus? It will cause my mental computer to disconnect from the internet. Like it is like disconnecting from internet. Yes, you're right. It is like dis it is like disconnecting from the internet. I already told you what was going to happen to my mental computer if I didn't go if if they don't remove that from my mental computer and they still kept telling me no. So I wanted to, I wanted to go remove it. I told you I have to protect my mental computer. If I don't remove that information, it's going to get worse. And Emmanuel has already did something that hurts my, has already told me some information that I didn't want computed in there because it was going to hurt my mental computer and it was abusive to my mental computer. So I had to report it and I had to go take it down quick. Or otherwise, it's going to cause my mental computer to freeze. That's why I'm taking down information. I'm, ta and going, I'm going on my mental computer and I'm removing it. Removing it. That's what I can imagine in my imagination. I don't care if Grandma Donna ignores me. I don't care if my dad ignores me. I feel like 
mental computers exist and that there's such thing as a mental computer, but that's really my brain. My brain is a mental computer if it processes information. I had to go in my mental computer and I had to delete whatever was said in the history of, of, of the teachers before the beginning before the beginning of my school day at the Kessler, the beginning from the Kessler. I went, I started, that's what, that was when I started going to the Kessler, and that was before they started to say the brain is not a computer. And I got so sick and tired of that. I got so sick and tired of everybody in that school saying the brain is not a computer. I had to take that down too. I had to go erase that also. I had to go delete that also. But if they put information in my mental computer telling me I'm not going to get cookie butter, that freaking man, they put, he wants to put information in my freaking mental computer telling me I'm not going to get cookie butter. My brain is not going to process that like a computer. I had to go take that information down. And luckily, I flagged it. I flagged it. I reported it. And I can also write down how I feel, which is kind of like flagging, kind of like reporting a video if it's, ha if it's a violation of YouTube's community guidelines. But I had to go in there and I had to remove the junk information from my mental computer before it starts to malfunction and get a virus and have some auto, have some very bad technical problems like disconnection from Wi-Fi and being disconnected. It's like being disconnected from the internet. It's similar to, to disconnection. That's why I had to go flag it. I had to go flag that information before it messes up my mental computer and causes it to not work properly. That's what happens. I go in my I go in my memory, I delete the information, no big problem, we get it, we get it taken care of. And we take that, we take that information down. We take it, we go in our I, I go in my memory and I take it down. If a manual says something I don't like and I don't want to process that in my memory bank, I go and take it down. That's what I do. I take I take things down. I delete people's things. I delete people's things. I, I, and and when I get mad, you could uh, you could you don't have to think as ha you don't have to think of hacking into other people's accounts as just deleting their videos. You could think of it as.